It's so nice to meet you, and thank you. It's so nice um, to meet you. <laughs> I, I've, read, I've read about you, and I saw your video. It was lovely. Thank uh, you. Do you have any questions for me? What do you think the three skill set that made you who you are, or something that you developed throughout your career that helped you the most? Um, well, <laughs> knowing my value and yes. communicating it effectively. Um, you know, in the years that I didn't know my value, mm -hmm. I didn't do my job as well. I didn't bring home as much money. I didn't feel good about myself. My relationships were not so great because knowing your value is not just about money. It's about getting value back in every relationship in your life. And if you don't get value back, it doesn't really work. But in order to get value back, you have to know your value. And you've got to be able to communicate it effectively. So working in television has really taught me uh, to develop my communication skills and then to focus on this platform to help other women to do so as well. Because many women know their value, but they don't know how to say it. They feel uncomfortable saying it. And I used to. So mm -hmm. I took my communication skills from television and radio and all the different careers I've had, and I applied it to my own value and learned to like actually brag on myself and get good deals and get good pay and have good relationships and be able to talk to my kids in a way that I get value back. I mean, it applies to everything. So my skill set is developing the concept of knowing your own value, which I think is fundamental to success. True. So what do you think was the turning point to knowing your value? Uh, when I was sitting around a set of men and all of them made well over 10 times that I did. <laughs> and I just thought, this is it. Right. I'm gonna stop this right now. And if, right. it, if it's not possible, I'm leaving. And luckily I was able to fix it. Hello, this is Dina Iman. I am a Forbes Under 30 honoree for 2022 in Enterprise Technology in North America. I was also recently awarded a presidential award by the president of the Arab Republic of Egypt, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, for being the most influential world youth during the World Youth Forum 2022. Uh, I do a few things. I am a software program manager in the Windows Org at Microsoft. I am also an adjunct professor for electrical and computer engineering in the, uh, the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And I'm also a founder and CEO for Diversity and Inclusion Power that provides services for diversity and inclusion for corporation and universities. I am also an ambassador for a presidential initiative to end poverty in Egypt. Um, that is uh, with the president of the Arab Republic of Egypt. And I am a diversity and inclusion advocate um, inside the U.S. and internationally. Some of the soft skills that have helped me is knowing that me being a Muslim and a hijabi in the States and my diverse perspective is my power, is my superpower. Um, uh, when I was in school, in high school, and I was trying to apply for college, my dad thought that I was not going to be successful in a male-dominated field and engineering is not for girls. Um, he kind of got me for a second and I changed my major from engineering to pre-med um, just because I didn't feel that my first perspective and um, being different is going to fit in and I didn't see successful examples that look like me in the field. Uh, but the second I realized that that is my power and that's what going to drive me and that's what going to make me successful in the field, um, I took that as a motive or um, it motivated me to not be a uh, a normal student but be one of the best in uh, the department or in my NJIT and I graduated not with just one degree but two degrees 
um, with my bachelor and master's in computer engineering in the same year with high honors. I then uh, moved into Intel and I was a software engineer at the time. I worked with the mayor office to be um, um, a technology and telecommunication commissioner and a city official uh, there. I, my potential were limitless. I worked with Microsoft as a program manager. I was then a professor. Um, I was helping other women be in that place and know that they too can be successful in a male-dominated field. For all my women watching this, I want you to know that you are powerful, you are limitless. Um, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Know that you are you are half of that world and your voice needs to be heard. You do have a place at the table where decisions are made. Find your passion and believe in yourself. Find that passion that something that you can work towards tirelessly. And align that with what the community needs or what that workplace that you're working at need and that will take you places. And know that you are not alone. Find a mentor. Find someone in a leadership leadership position where you want to be. And know that that is going to be impactful. That will exponentially expand your impact.